we should be live. This is my fourth attempt and technology just isn't on my side today. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Hopefully nothing will die this time. Here's my face, here's my hobbies, here's my everything. And uh, let's see if I went actually live. Yes, ask a kitty developer two. This working, dropped frames zero. So it should be working, hopefully. Well, the stream died when, whilst I was praising Far the Farhan OS developer. So maybe that was the cause. Let's take the chat back. What I was saying pretty much is that it's super cool that the Fern OS developer actually helps out a lot in KDE Plasma as well, because usually people who do distributions don't also work in the desktop that they use for the distribution. The Fern OS uh, developer is super active and that's a super good thing. So if you want to check out some distribution, totally check out Fern Fer Fer OS because I'm super grateful for the developer actually trying how to help. If this is working, please tell me through comments in the top chat. That would be super nice of you. <laughs> Do you prefer Kitty of or GNOME. I prefer KDE. Also KDE is not a desktop environment, but I prefer KDE Plasma over GNOME. And the reason is that it's it just really comes under personal preference. And uh, I feel like KDE Plasma fits me best because I love to customize things. And uh, KD Plasma makes it super easy. I also love to actually uh, get get my hands dirty working on I don't know some themes, some applets. Uh, I used to do like manually uh, some SVG themes for KD Plasma, and it's super easy. So it's just super cool to be able to actually work change the the appearance of your desktop however you'd like to. Yes, this is my fourth try. <laughs> Thanks for the people actually trying to follow through the various streams. Hopefully this one won't die. I cannot guarantee it for some reason because the gods of the technology are against me. Of course, I also lost a bunch of questions that were in the old chat, so if you want to ask me anything, this is your best shot. Something that's not too technically specific, unless it's actually my my job. There's uh, one person that was asking about the size of the icons in the task manager. That is my job, so please email me or um, write to me over Telegram so we can actually figure out the issue. Ah yes, um, light dark transition. Does that mean that at some point there'll be a feature allowing on the fly change between the two? W can you elaborate on what you mean by on the fly change, like automatic? Because right now it is on the fly. You just select the dark theme, you click apply and that's it. Maybe you mean automatic. If you're asking about automatic transition, then it falls into the scope of nobody is working on it. It's something that we would eventually like to have, but nobody is working on it. There's third party scripts providing that if you're really interested. How about tiling manager integration uh, on KDE with one button like Pop OS? There is some beautiful work going on with Bismuth. If you don't know Bismuth, check it out. I even have one video. I don't remember the name though. Bismuth does that. 
it is a very very nice telling integration using uh, applet so it's actually on the panel am i a bakemonogatari fan i'll answer the same thing as uh, i said uh, in the other live but maybe the audio died before that i love the monogatari series i follow it a lot but at the same time i think we need to acknowledge that it has some serious plot issues so it's that kind of love that also makes you suffer on the inside because it's such a beautiful series and then there's dialogues that makes no sense whatsoever but yeah, I, I, I'm a totally fan the dark mode is not as smooth as Gnome uh, 42 uh, the transition uh, why? I mean wh why? sure, right now it isn't but with the merge request that I talked about, it will be smooth, so... Yes, uh, I mean automatic, because right now changing within those uh, need some services restarts to make everything look the same. You shouldn't need to restart K Plasma to actually... No, it shouldn't be needed. Everything should apply instantly. Uh, yeah, everything should apply instantly. If something doesn't, um, try to tell me, maybe you open a bug report. Is there any big thing in Linux that you're waiting for? For me, it was Wayland. For others, Steam Deck. Is there any big thing I'm waiting for? I'm totally waiting for the Pine Note. Like, an A Ink device will be so cool. I'm totally waiting for the Pine Note. I totally want one. I don't know if I'll have the money to buy it, but I totally want one. I have sent the screenshot via email about the Kine Connect. Yes, uh, I saw it and um, it does look a bug. It does look like a bug. Um, just by looking at it, I cannot tell what the bug is, but if you haven't please check out if there's any bug report about it, and if not, make one, because that's something, uh, totally something that should be uh, looked in. Unbox Cloud, that's actually news to me. Unbox as a cloud version. What's that? Scalable Android on the cloud. So you just stream mobile apps, Interesting. How does it work though? What's the idea? No, oh, no, I don't actually want it. I just want to understand it. What's this? No, I don't want to chat with Canonical. Thank you. So you've got like Android apps on the browser. I don't know why though. I mean, if I wanted to use an Android application that doesn't actually run on my computer, I would just plug in something like this and then use a screen copy and that would be perfect. What improvements do you think KDE needs to be more attra attractive to the people switching from Windows? It needs to be more stable, I think. That's my take on it. Not really features. Actually, features would be uh, features would bring more instability. So maybe it's really about trying to make sure that what is right now in KD Plasma works seamless, seamlessly. It doesn't quite do that right now. And there is ongoing work to try make KD Plasma as stable as possible. And uh, that's very nice. At the same time, there are some big feature, features that are coming that are very much necessary, like uh, touchpad gestures. So, yep. The only thing that I'm aware of needs restarting is changing cursor. Yeah, yeah, that one is actually needed, which is annoying, I know. But on the other hand, I have no clue on what's the issue, uh, the cause of that bug, so. <coughs> Q 
Come on, ask something. When will KD Plasma have Wayland as default? That's a very good one. My uh, my feeling is that it won't be KD Plasma switching to Wayland as default, but rather distros will do that. Pedora, KD Neon, I think, has already done that. Kubuntu, Manjaro KD, I think, will slowly switch to using Wayland for KD Plasma. And after those big distributions, which I think KD Plasma will follow along. What fears do you what fears do you recommend for plasma? Fears? Is that the right word? What do you have to fear when using K plasma? I don't know that it crashes, I guess. Why don't you use a tiling window manager? Well, I used to use theme. Okay, theme, not fear. Um, as far as themes go, I let me actually show you a couple of themes and then I'll get to the next question. Whoops. Nope, wrong one. KD store. So there is one theme called painting, painting, which is this one. And I mean, I don't know who made this. I totally don't know who's the author of this theme, but look at here, it looks gorgeous. It has like blur and it looks awesome. Um, whoever made it is probably the nicest person on earth. There is also, which I love, another theme, which was called, give me a sec. No, I completely forgot the name. It was something. Super transparent. Trans parent something. Let's see if I catch it. Category plasma theme. Maya transparent, this one. Maya transparent is also pretty good. Um, in here it's shown be without blur, but with blur it's perfect. I totally recommend trying this out. Can you please check out the tax concept did I switch some, did I lose some comments? No, I think not. Can you please check out the tax concept, which is a killer feature of tiling window managers like w, um, DWM, because lack of it, okay. Um, tags concept, okay, let's check it out. Window manager tags. Techniques for using Tiling Window Manager efficiently. So it's just like tags for windows. I mean, I don't know what's the point. It's a bit like activities, I guess. Can you elaborate, please? Why don't you use Tiling Window Manager? Uh, I used to use a plugin for Kwin. I mean, mostly I do want my computer to have a desktop environment. If it's just a window manager and then I'm supposed to take care of everything, no, like then I'm not interested in to the top level of customizability and everything. I just want something that works out of the box. And so I sometimes try out like tiling plugins inside of other desktops like PopOS. Those are fine. I, I would probably use it day to day, but it's not a revolution, it's fine. Why do you think virtual machines don't support uh, Plasma Desktop? I mean, they do. <laughs> you can totally run uh, Plasma Desktop in a virtual machine. Uh, the blur will be um, off by default because of uh, performance, but it totally works. Firefox theme is set to system, but it doesn't update if I switch themes. So it's an issue with JTK theming, I guess. Check out if there is a bug report about it. Otherwise, I, I'm not sure how to help you, sorry. 
you had an hard time when you started contributing to KDE because it's starting to tempt me in doing the same. No, it wasn't hard. Honestly, the hardest thing to do when uh, starting to try to contribute to KDE was trusting myself because I, I put out my work and I was like 100% sure it was bad work. So with time, I recognized that I actually do have some skills in coding and stuff. So, but at the beginning, it was just me doing merge request and being super scary, scared by people saying, no, this is not how you do things. So that's just it. Then actually contributing is easy, I think. You just need to find the thing that fits you. The Fluent theme looks amazing. Let's check it out. Fluent store.kd.org. Fluent category plasma themes. There's nine different themes, which are all variations of Fluent. Screenshot is broken. I mean, this, this looks like breeze. <laughs> Okay, it's slightly different. Yeah, it looks fine. It, 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 it's very well done in its use of uh, the latest um, advancements that KE has. So it uses correctly like the header, the um, bottom bar. So I, I'm uh, praise them for this one. I'm not sure. Yeah, this one blurring, very nice. Yeah, this one looks very nice. I really like this. Yeah, piece well done. Yeah, look at this. Look at the text box. Yeah, it's well, well done, I like it. Have you tried other telling window managers such as, no, sorry, never tried them. Why don't you use Arc or Manjaro instead of Ubuntu? Because my computer had Ubuntu out of the box. What KD apps do you see developed in Rust? Uh, there is at least one, which is called Icon something. No, Icona. Icona. It's in Rust. As far as I know, this is the only Rust KD application, but it is in Rust. You've told one before, but it was a C++, uh, QML plus Rust for the backend, or, well, might be this one. Uh, Rust, QML for the front end. I if it's not Icona, then I don't know of any, sorry. This, as far as I know, is the only app with Rust in it. Can you suggest some flat, non-transparent, matte black theme for KDE? flat, non-transparent, matte black. I mean, it's probably easier to just do it yourself. <laughs> it's so easy to actually make a theme. I've done a video about that. Um, black, oh, black, opaque, something. Almost black. Now this is a core scheme. We actually were looking for plasma KD themes. Dest default plasma value peak. Okay, you can use this one and use a dark color scheme. Probably, there's lots of color schemes that are like fully black. Was Qt part of BlackBerry acquisition by Chinese? Nope, no. Qt is uh, independent from BlackBerry. I mean, there are a lot of fancy themes, but no simple and practical ones. I don't know, I disagree. I think that some themes are fine, like some plasma themes are perfect on their own. What are you using for email calendaring? So for email, I use Google Mail, Gmail, sorry. <laughs> and for the calendar, I actually use tasks.org on my phone. Qt is from Nokia. It, it was from Nokia, yeah not BlackBerry. Have you tried using NSMPCPP? What's that? <laughs> the answer is no, but what's that? A music player. No, sorry, I don't use uh, 
music players I use. YouTube music because I pay for it. Check Nordic theme. Ah, I don't have to. I don't have to. Nordic. I've used uh, the Nord Nordic uh, Nordic theme and uh, it looks pretty good. I totally know that theme. Check it out if you like something that's not like fully transparent but actually looks good. Which breeze color scheme, color changes, color of lines, separators, etc. Active text, if I remember correctly. It should be active text. There is the, a proposal to make a new color class to um, work on separators specifically without uh, changing uh, the text. But right now there's nothing concrete yet. So for now it's text. Why do you use Chrome? Isn't Firefox open source? Yeah, I do use Firefox for all, anything except when I'm recording, simply because for some reason Firefox doesn't work when I'm on X11. I don't know. Ferran OS is my favorite KDE based distro. Check out Ferran OS. The point is that tags are nothing like, sorry, virtual desktops. Each monitor has its own set of tags. Each monitor. Each application can be appointed by any number of tags. Switching between tags, you can access the same app. Can you send me via email some like references, some screenshots? Because just reading a comment, I'm not able to fully understand what's the concept behind this, which might that may very well be super cool and just cannot understand it like this. I am trying to create bindings for Kotlin to Qt and JDK so business logic can be shared in native code. Any suggestion about JDK Qt compared development? Um, what do you mean compared uh, development? I mean, um, to be clear, I only ever did Qt stuff, never worked on JDK, so I I have no clue whatsoever on how it works, to be honest. I've only done QD. And uh, QD, I don't know. I'm not sure what, what would I be able to suggest you. Been to Battles? Battles. Such a cool program. Totally check out Battles. <laughs> Kate is really, really good. ATS. If you need something more powerful than try as v s codium you are making kd plasma floating as far as i know correct <laughs> nice catch is it correct that the user would uh, be able to make panel float and out hide like letter doc yeah yeah why not sorry Yeah, sure. I don't see why not. It should work. I didn't test it, but it should work. When will I be able to create a vector screenshots of KD Qt applications? I, when you're able to do that, please tell me, because that would be something that I'd love to have, but I don't know of such thing coming. <laughs> That's... Does Plasma allow themes to have the same color for the title bar and the window content and no separate between the two so they kind of blend together? No. No. As far as I know, there's no way to do that. Hopefully when we introduce the separator color um, class, should be feasible, but right now I don't see any way to do that. Sorry. When will KD Plasma 6 release? 
who knows? <laughs> it probably within a couple of years, within a couple of years, don't expect KD Plasma 6 to be the KD release that changes everything. It's actually a rather the opposite. We're trying just to go conservative with it, not to change a lot and just do the transition of the all of the works that's behind the scenes, so like the frameworks and stuff like that. In order to map the super or meta key, you should map Alt F N F1 or just Alt F1, sorry, Alt F1. That should do the trick. The first, tr uh, the first time I used KDE, I was so happy when I realized that almost everything is customizable. Is the thing I really like about Android, and uh, KDE is amazing. Yeah, yeah, I also love Android for that same reason. Totally, I like changing launchers. That's so cool. I think there are scripts to adapt the title bar color to the window content. It is possible to adapt the title bar color to the window content. It is not possible to remove the separator though, as far as I know. Maybe the separator underneath the title bar, but not the other ones. You should, there's no way to remove all of the separators. I blended title bar and window content. Yeah, I mean, if you don't use the new title bar style, then it should blend in, but uh, you still get separators on all of the rest of the window, that's what I meant. But uh, you can remove the se only the separator underneath the title bar. I don't remember how I think that you should not offer um, a heather color, something, something like that. I can check out if you want, if you send uh, me an email. Is Wayland ever going to run on NVIDIA? Look, you're asking the wrong person, sorry. Alt F1 doesn't work on Ditto. Weird, it should. Um, it totally should work on Ditto. I mean, it should work on any menu, regardless of the actual implementation. Uh, double check that you're doing everything correctly, and if it still doesn't work, I don't know, either open up a bug report. Um, it's not about Ditto, it could be any menu. and um, Or maybe send me an email, you can try to figure this out. I was serious. Uh, about what comment, though? Review a circa 1999 KDE desktop environment would be fun to see okay reviewing uh how would i even find it no uh, we do have some old images but they don't actually get that old but i mean it's a cool concept trying actually you know it's a really good concept trying out very old versions of kd plasma I, I will totally do that. I, I'll write it down in my head and I will do that. Not that old, but I mean, like 5.0, 4.0 maybe. <coughs> what distro are you using? Ubuntu. What do you think about GNOME 42 and Libadwaita? Okay, everybody is asking me about that. And unluckily the answer is still, I don't know. I mean, I'm a KD Plasma developer. Libadwaita in no way touches me. So I didn't investigate on it particularly. Why is KD slow? Maybe you are slow or maybe you are too fast for KD. I don't know. No, KD isn't slow. You can try KD Plasma out on low-end computers 
and it will work very nicely. If you feel like it's slow, check out. If you have maybe disable some desktop um, effects that might improve the situation, totally disable blur as an example. Try to make animations faster in the system settings, that sort of things. But Kitty Plasma desktop in itself isn't slow by any, any mean. I'm really happy for seeing new blood in blood in KD development. Congrats for the effort. Thank you. And fun fact, there's a lot of very young KD developers. Very young. That was something that uh, totally shocked me when I first joined. We were at least four to five people in the VDG uh, we, that we were like under 18. Now I, I grew up. So I'm no longer under 18, but there's a lot of very young people working on KDE and uh, are doing very good stuff. So it's not like we're young, then it doesn't work. No, no, no. It's very cool because it's like a generational thing. KDE is like a lot of developers are younger than KDE is. I'm younger than KDE. That, that's so weird to think about. KD fa is fast on SSD, but very slow on HDD. That's so vague. Uh, I mean, it's not, then it's not KD being slow, but the HDD being slow. <laughs> there are virtual machines going back to KD3. They can be found in the 25th anniversary announcement. That's right. I do remember that announcement. I, I'll try to test them. Usually I prefer live, um, doing live, uh, not using a virtual machine, but trying a live session. I'll try out. Uh, tags are discussed like from 7.30 in the video. Yes, but I don't actually, ah, here. Luke Smith's video, success D. W, okay, so easy of an document. Let's bring this one up. I won't watch it live, but I will um, check out the link. Nice. I'll check it out. Promised. Let's close this. Can I use Qt for free in my company without open sourcing all of the code? Yes, but you need to pay for it. Ah, no, you said for free. Then, uh, no. <laughs> as far as I know, you you have to pay for it. You either pay for it or uh, open source everything, as far as I know. Touchpad gestures help a lot, but will ever KD get customizable touchpad gestures? Again, this gets the same answer as usual, which is... This is something that nobody's working on, but hopefully it will be implemented because we want it. Hopefully it will be implemented soon because there's right now a lot of momentum in um, gestures. So maybe 5.26, hopefully. We, can, we cannot say for sure. You think KDE should continue with a free contribution model or should search for money from big companies and hire developers? Uh, they're not mutual, mutually exclusive. So right now we do have money. We do gain money. We probably don't gain enough, but that's also because of various reasons like our donation systems uh, is getting revamped. I think that we should be more looking to hire developers from now on compared to the past. And that is something that's very much discussed in KDE. So that's the direction we're moving towards. That doesn't mean that we will completely end like the free contribution model. It's just that we keep that and with time we try to make more money out of donations and we try using that to hire more developers. Think of Krita. Krita is doing that. 
they have the developer uh, funding um, campaign and they use that to pay some developers even though a lot of people still work on Krita uh, as far as I know for free. Let's bring up krita.org and we can see that there is the found um, development found and uh, it's like 4,000 euros every month and that actually helps hiring developers. The goal is to get to 15 and hire five. I see some time in recommended. Yeah, I used to watch it a lot uh, some years ago. Do you play PC games? A few. I play um, Kerbal Space Program, super good. Outer Wheels, uh, very good. Um, Riven, Mist, um, Riven of the Mist uh, 2 series. Th 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 that's actually about it. I, I don't play much games, but uh, those are pretty good. What is the relationship between KD and LXQT? If you mean relationship as in like developers knowing each other, I'm not aware of any. I've uh, never heard of any LXQT contributor KD or the opposite. So they, as far as I know, they're very two very separate projects. I find there are uh, so many choices in KDE ecosystem, like loads of KDE applications, Plasma extensions, and KDE libraries. However, I also found particularly with KDE application, there is lots of duplication of functionalities like Concoverer, Falcon, Anglefish. Okay, so um, Concoverer is that. You should not be using it. Uh, duplication on functionalities is something that I agree with and in fact there is, if you go to Fabricator, let me show you, fabricator.kd.org and you search for consistency, you have the consistency goal which is the one that I, I'm the leader of and you have improved consistency across the board with a very long explanation on what that means. And one of the things that I mentioned is apps doing, different apps doing the same exact thing. Redundancies in the app ecosystem, LATDOC and the Plasma panel, KMPLOT, LabPLOT and KAlgebra, KRunner and the search widget, KPhotoalbum, GwenView and Pix, Falcon and Conqueror, now there's even Anglefish, as you point out. Amarok, Elisa, J-U-K, Elisa. Okay, I put Elisa two times, but I meant something else, which is uh, Wave. Caffeine, Dragon Player, etc., etc., etc. Now, the idea is most of these are actually false um, redundancies because some are just that, like Upper is that. Um, Amarok, let's say it, is that. JUK is pretty much dead. Conqueror is dead. K photo album is dead. What else? KM plot, maybe, probably dead. K notes, N nano note is not from KD. This is a mistake. K notes is pretty much dead. The notes we just embuho, you know. Do you use JDownloader? Nope. Have you ever tried any standalone window manager and what do you think about it? No, I have never tried a standalone window manager because I like everything to just be there out of the box. That's what I like to use. What happened when the previous stream died and it closed? I have no idea actually. No idea whatsoever. It just happened. QD is not developed by KD itself. What are the problems, worst case scenario that could arise from this? Worst case scenario, which is the worst 
worst case scenario, uh, KDE has to fork uh, QTS code. That is like the worst case. It's probably not going to happen, especially not soon. And even if it happens, it's not that big of, a, of an issue because we should be able to uh, keep on working on Qt even by forking it. There are some patches that are done by KDE people to Qt. We would continue to grow without big issues, I think. I am very curious how to refresh the widget without killing Plasma Shell with uh, the widget. If you change a widget source code, I, I mean, maybe it works if you remove the widget and add it back, but the easiest way is just, just to replace Plasma Shell. You can also launch a window with that widget on it, so you don't actually have to kill Plasma Shell. But you know, plasma, killing Plasma Shell is not killing, but replacing Plasma Shell with a new instance is so easy that it's fine to do that. Where does KDE come with core? Let's just mention uh, keep up the good work in developing developing KDE. Thank you. And doing my best. Where does um, where KDE does come with current themes, just like a commercial OS, lack of designer. Why KDE does come with coherent themes? I mean, there's probably a missing a knot somewhere. Why doesn't KD come with current themes, I guess the question is. We try to do our best. It's not lack of designers. Uh, it's just that, you know, it's maintaining a theme is a lot of uh, jobs. And again, most of us are volunteers. So we try, we try our best. What is the battery life in GNOME in opposition to KDE? Um, I have not noticed any significant difference. I can do some testing if you want, but uh, it's mostly the same. Are you Italian? Yes, I am Italian. Where are you from? Uh, Liguria, Genoa. Pisto, Focaccia. Do you think switching to the KDE forums to this course like the Crit Artist website would rev rev revitalize it? I don't know. I mean, the de facto KDE forums right now is the Reddit one. Honestly, I'm fine with having Reddit as the de facto forum. I, I like Reddit, so I mean, it works. It would probably revitalize it a bit. There has been some proposals, but maybe in the future that will happen. I'm so sorry you have to use Fabric Fabricator. Or don't be, because uh, we actually stopped using that a couple of years ago. And now we don't actually have, it, have to use it anymore. Now it's all on KDE Invent. It's just that I was bringing back an old uh, text I wrote, so it was on Fabricator. Greeting from Germany. Hello, Germany. I switched to Plasma thanks to your videos, thank you. My only problem is the random complete crashes of the WLAN session. That's indeed annoying. Uh, of course, the only thing I can say is try to report uh, the crashes, I try to include the backlog and everything. And uh, I am not a WLAN developer, but WLAN developers will uh, look into that, I'm sure. Crusader, Dolphin, Whale, Hippo, so many file browsers. The real only KD browser, uh, file browser is Dolphin. Crusader, I've never actually seen anybody using it. Whale is under heavy development and Hippo, I actually never heard of it before. What's Hippo? Is it uh, another QML uh, file manager that's in development? Maybe. But I mean, Dolphin is the only URL file manager. Do you prefer or recommend GStreamer or VLC as phone on backend? I don't know. I use neither of the two. Sorry. 
I used Plasma before it was horrible. Now there is a very consistent design. Thank you. And the new overview effect is very nice. It is. Hopefully that will improve in even more with time. Same duplication on XFCE and GNOME. GNOME apps are better, but the window manager lost itself in 2013. I don't know, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with that. How much Canonical and Google contribute to KDE and how are they contributing? So I don't know this info by heart and if I knew it, I probably wouldn't uh, be allowed to share it. However, what you can do is go to, I press the wrong key, Chrome. You can go inside of the KDE AV website and uh, check out the reports from the financial working group. And those have the amount of money that uh, has been given to us by contributors. So you can get an idea of what the money amount should be. As far as I know, it's money, as far as I know. I think that some also give us servers. I don't know uh, who's, what's the case, uh, where is it? Reports 2020 and uh, financial working group. There is from, uh, I know it's together with donations, so it's much harder to actually know how much comes from supporting members. Then I don't know uh, how much of these will be donations. I don't know. If we suppose half, then it's 70 hundred, no, sorry, thousand euros from supporting members. And then you go to the Kitty website and try to divide it from the names there probably. Are there any native email clients that integrate well with MS Exchange? I have never used one that did that. If you find one, please share it with the others, but um, I wouldn't be able to recommend you a name. Uh, do you know Kitartal? Uh, I, I've never used it, but I know what it is. I enjoyed the idea and the challenge. A recent update broke it. Uh, dark on a dark, dark background on GNOME. Could be a variety of issues. Could be dark theme, GNOME session. Text is dark on dark background. Try forcing a light theme. You can force a theme using uh, dot d no, dash dash style equals and the name of the style, so like breeze. Maybe that can fix it. Are you excited for Carabao Space Program 2? I don't know. It's hard to be excited for years. Like uh, we've been waiting for it a lot and I'm not sure if it will live up to the expectations. JDK versus QD. What is your opinion? What do you prefer? Pros and cons? Uh, again, I have never used JDK, so I think it wouldn't be fair to try to do a comparison. What I can say about QD is that QML is really good and that you should try it out. That's all I'm going to say. Is there any plan to have a simple settings apps for KDE? Nope. And uh, there is a KDE web page. This is the same idea of advanced settings. Like, so you have the simple settings and the advanced ones. The issue is that it doesn't quite work. Any pattern when you have like advanced settings doesn't quite work for actual users. And uh, the web page that talks about this is lesson learned. This one, you can click on here, basic advanced modes and read this paragraph. Does KDE has an inspiration such as Macintosh and Windows? Nope, KDE is itself. It doesn't try to copy anything else. 
Hello from Gross Austria. Hello. I know that this would be a lot of work. Can't KD just <laughs> whenever I hear the phrase can't KD just I know this is going to be a, a tough one to read. Program the compositor in a way that it automatically looks at the edges, create a mask for that edge and use it a mask for a fix. We fixed the corner spike. We fixed it. It's the we can't do that. We we cannot do what you're saying, but we actually fixed the bug by uh, imp implementing a mask SVG. If you say there is not a risk of a lawsuit for placing star standard themes, i.e. copying through NTUI material design, etc., I would be more too happy than patch it. And. Uh, I forgot what this uh, references to. Uh, let me try to go back to understand. Uh, why does it? Ah, uh, uh, okay, understood. No, we generally don't try to include uh, themes that exp explicitly copy another OS by default on KDE, because uh, that's what the store should be for, not KD out of the box. If uh, if we did that, KD would come as would come off as a ripoff. So we just have Breeze, which is its own thing, and for ripoffs, you have the store. So feel free to do like themes, but put them on the KD store. Would you take a job to KD or QD after you finish university? Oh, I would happily take a job if such job existed right now there isn't but maybe in the future maybe in the future how far are qt6 breeze from release yeah it is being worked on and the uh, breeze itself won't have many changes but i mean should be within within a couple of years in theory with plasma 6 Will KDE be less frustrating to navigate? Example settings. Yes, we are working on a redesign of the categories of system settings. So that hopefully should help you navigate around system settings nicely. <coughs> when is the new version coming out? Um, on June, the 6th on June, maybe? Something like that, on June. Can you share a link to your desktop images uh, image? So for uh, my wallpaper, you need to search for Parker Rosso Fio uh, wallpapers. And you should very easily find uh, the one that I use. Where is it? Somewhere. It was here. Where is it? Ah, here. And uh, you just download this one. So the link is this one. What are the advantages of Wayland over Xorg? Well, there are many videos that talk about that. Specifically, Wayland has some <coughs> improvements uh, on the design of how it's uh, structured. Uh, you don't get like, I'm totally the wrong person to talk about this. You, you don't get like um, uh, the screen tiering and also working with a touch and uh, touchpad gestures is easier. And for more in-depth analysis of the two, watch a dedicated video, not from me. <laughs> Do KD developers have more than GNOME mentality, Don theme or the L QT philosophy, if you break something, it's your fault. Well, we have neither. I mean, we are our own, our own product and uh, we have our own mentality. And our mentality is that we allow theming, we allow customization, and we also take responsibility to make sure that it works. And when it, when it doesn't, it's our fault. I mean, you could do a theme that tries to break things on purpose, 
we try to avoid that to some extent to the best of our abilities but i mean yeah how is plasma on tablets i don't know it's getting better but i think there's more improvements to come uh, i would suggest like, kurigami apps are perfect the shell itself is getting better it's still some, some things are still impossible to do with touch which is slightly annoying is the kfm file manager still a thing not that i'm aware of i've never heard of kfm so i don't think so. i don't think so google and canonicals are kd patrons yes opinion on qml ads they don't touch us at all like it I think most people misunderstood what the, those things were. It's not like QML will have heads. No, that's not how it works. It's just that they provide a framework for developers if they want add ads in an easier way to their uh, application. We won't do that, obviously. We, we're not adding advertisement within any of our products, obviously. As the consistency goalkeeper, do you find that using multiple toolkits such as QML or QWidgets makes it difficult to get everything to look coherent? Yes, I think so. I mean, the biggest issues in consistency don't come from uh, using multiple toolkits, but surely using different ones is an issue. And uh, with time, everything is slowly switching to QML. So with time, it won't be an issue. Right now, it kind of is. <clears throat> what is the other feature you would personally copy from other desktops to KDE if you could? Well, I would have said like touchpad gestures a couple of weeks ago, but now KDE does have touch gestures and they're pretty good. What else? What else? What does KDE need? Uh, accent color from the background? That would be cool. I, I guess like maybe Microsoft has that, Windows, so yeah. Android apps on Linux, is there a plan to integrate them in KDE? This is another of those, is there a plan uh, questions? Not, I mean, it's not up to us. It's not up to KDE to integrate Android apps inside of us. Uh, it's like third party, like WeDroid that create um, entries for like kickoff. So it does integrate, but it's up to like um, distributions to ship WeDroid by default if you want something, something like that. Or maybe, maybe bottles can uh, help there, but it's not up to KDE to do anything like that. I'm not sure if you would be the right person to ask, but what are the possibilities of KD Neon moving away from Ubuntu? Right now, zero. There's no talk whatsoever about uh, moving KD Neon away from Ubuntu, so zero. Qt5 versus Qt6, worth the performance benefit compared to the amount of work? It's not just about performance, it's also about that Qt6 does have new features, bug fixes and stuff like that. So it is totally worth uh, the amount of work that is needed into porting. And we are also doing our own rewrite of our frameworks. So we take the opportunity to like change everything under the hood and hopefully everything still works better than before. Do you like anime? I do watch some. I'm not a big, super big fan of animes, but I do watch something sometimes. Monogatari mainly. I also watched uh, Shinsenka Yori. I watched uh, a lot of time ago Eromanga Sensei. Stuff, stuff like that. You do Informatica or Ingenieur Informatica, which is IT for uh, you English people. I actually do mathematics. I'm a mathematician. Uh, let me show you my notes. So let's open up Setzer. Setzer. And we've got 
Calculus 3, this is Calculus 3. I've got Calculus 1 as well because I still haven't passed that. We've got um, Mechanic Analytica. I don't know how to translate it. It's uh, Analytic Mechanics. And uh, we've got Fundaments of Numeric calcul uh, Calculus. I am a mathematician. What programming languages does one need to know to work for KDE? You've talked about young people working for KDE. Now I'm interested. Being able to implement things seems fun to me. You should check out QML, JavaScript, and a little bit of C++, but mostly QML and JavaScripts. That's going to be enough to actually make a significant change, believe me. I want to know what are your top three Studio Ghibli films. Tough one, very tough one. Top three. The surely we need Kiki La Strega in it. Kiki, I don't know what's in English. Kiki. Surely we need uh, The Wind Rises. What's the third one? Let me. Pony is pretty good. What else? I mean, they are just so pretty. I don't know. I, I'm not going to say a third one. I'm just going to say two. Is there a place to find releases notes for the next Kubuntu release? Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know. Uh, if you want, I can tell you where to find Chin. Um, no, no, sorry. I don't think there is one. Kitty is completely unusable on the Steam Deck with Touch. I wouldn't say completely unusable. There are some improvements, but yes, it's still not the experience that we need to provide. Do you think that both GTK and QD themes uh, can make app look inconsistent? Do you think there should be a migration of GTK to Qt? No, no, no. Let's keep GTK. I mean, GNOME should keep GTK. I don't think it, they should switch, switch to Qt. It, would, uh, it, would be, it wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. I mean, surely the fact that we do have both GTK and Qt is tough uh, because it will make apps inconsistent with each other. I don't think that switching to Qt is the right solution and switching to JDK from Plasma side is completely unfeasible. So we just need to live with the status quo, sadly. Do you game? Not a lot. Chess, I do chess. Latex, yeah, all of my notes are in Latex. Somehow, I'd like to see a video of you trying Vanilla Gnome 42. I mean, why not? Let's, I can do that. Next week, I'll try out Vanilla Gnome uh, 42, but just for like 10 minutes. Uh, QT and GT key, but what is QT and GT key? Uh, QT. is a cross-platform software to develop applications. It's the, th uh, plat uh, the framework that actually draws anything on your screen for KD Plasma applications. So like uh, you've got, you say, please draw a rectangle or I don't know, text or uh, an SVG and uh, Qt uh, manages that. And I suppose JTK very uh, similar in that. Why is KDE switching to QML? Because it makes development so much easier, like so much easier. Why do you always license as a CC on your videos? Aren't you afraid that someone will steal your content? I mean, f right now, for now, feel free to steal my content because what are you going to do with it exactly? I mean, if you put it on YouTube, then I mean, 
my videos will be recommended more than your videos, so I'm going to get the views anyway. If you put it on other platforms, it's free advertisements for my YouTube videos. I mean, maybe when I'll be a bigger YouTuber, it will be more, I'll be, I need to be more careful, but right now I don't see any issue of, of people downloading my videos. I mean, just feel free to download them. Kiki delivery service, right. Thank you. Uh, I wonder if it would be feasible to make a system to mark addons and themes uh, that are verified to work with the latest version of Plasma. Good luck. Uh, sounds very hard to actually do because you actually need to test dozens, I mean, hundreds of themes. If you're really interested in doing this, get in touch. I guess we can try to figure out something, but uh, your free time from now on will be testing themes because that's how it works in KDE. If you propose something, you need to be ready to put some time in it to actually get it done. KDE removed the Breeze Dark GTK theme. KDE removed the Breeze Dark GTK theme? Uh, sorry, you're asking the wrong person. I know there is a Breeze Dark JDK theme, but if it got removed, I have no idea why. Maybe it follows color scheme. So Breeze with a dark color scheme will be Breeze Dark. That's how it should work. Otherwise make a bug report. I don't know. If I want to make a proposal to rearrange system settings, whom should I write? There is an um, invent uh, task. My name is this one. My password is, uh, I think, this one. There is a task um, was in system settings, I guess. System, no, not here. Uh, system settings. System settings uh, uh, forked from here. Uh, issues. Simplify KSM navigation. No, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so this uh, flattened navigation with logically combined KCMs is the proposed uh, reorganization of system settings. And if you go see, you can see that there's a lot of discussion with even proposals from me. And uh, you can try to write a comment here if you're interested in uh, contributing. Is pronounced cute, cutie, cute, cute, cutie, right, sorry. Do you have to port from Qt6 to Qt6 from uh, .2? Oh, I have no clue what's, <laughs> what, uh, whatsoever, sorry. KDE as the default desktop on Windows? Uh, lovely, but that would happen. <laughs> Opinions on the sexy French Linux S experiment channel? Well, he has actually helped me a lot in actually making my channel because when I only had done a couple of videos I had um, emailed him asking how do this work exactly and uh, he got uh, back to me with a very detailed uh, answer saying it should work on this you should improve that area and it was super helpful so I owe him a lot yeah, Nick from the Linux experiment is pretty awesome. In his review of GNOME 42, he says GNOME files is JTK3, which is not true. By the way, one thing that I noticed in being a YouTuber is that if you get something wrong in a video, you're going to regret it <laughs> a lot because it's going to be pointed out 10 times, 20 times in the comments. And it's not a bad thing because, I mean, you did a mistake, it should be pointed out, but 
receiving like 20 comments of hey you got this wrong uh, yeah yeah i'm sorry look sorry <laughs> it's funny it's not Have you tried Flutter? Do you see a future for Flutter in Linux? Not a big fan. <laughs> uh, it, it was a super weird move when Canonical uh, promoted Flutter as uh, the toolkit for their apps on Ubuntu. That was weird. I don't see a very big future, but I might be wrong. What's the best distro for KDE? Depends on what you search in a distro. If you want something stable, I might go with Ubuntu, Kubuntu. If you want latest, KDE Neon. Is there a way to make KDE aware of network interface has become active when not using the system, the network manager, no idea whatsoever, sorry, that's too specific in uh, a subject that I'm not an expert in. Does KDE devs consider systemd glib fatpacks to be GNOME technologies? Systemd, a GNOME technology? Flatpak, a GNOME technology? No, no, I don't think so. Does it matter? I mean, we, we can use GNOME technologies if we want. It's not like there, are, but uh, maybe I don't know about that, but I don't think we consider them GNOME technologies. Maybe. Yeah, Fedora KDE is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally go with Fedora KDE if you like it. Why KDE in other distros like Endeavor, Minjaro, Neon, etc. are more uh, are much more stable than in pure Arc? It shouldn't be. You maybe you installed uh, KDE Plasma incorrectly. I don't know. Nicolo, I found a comment about KDE being too cluttered with the customization option funny. My question to you is why is my Netboot tutorial great? I mean, it is totally great just because it's by Studio Ghibli and uh, Miyazaki. It's probably not one of my very favorites, but uh, it, it works. Like it's something that you enjoy to watch. It shows uh, scenes from, you get a very family feeling out of it. I like it. How much performance uh, is a priority for KDE? It is a priority. Uh, every time you make a change, it's very, I mean, not every time, but if you're making changes that could affect performance, uh, there is some scrutiny to make sure that it doesn't impact it uh, too much. Do you think KDE should drop Breeze JTK Breeze icons? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's worth, I mean, I'm biased because I'm the consistency uh, goalkeeper, but I think it's worth it to try to preserve consistency between Breeze and J JTK. Uh, JTK apps. By the way, your audio volume in uh, the videos is still very low. I, I don't actually use Kidding Live to edit anything. It's just OBS. Uh, we've got audio and you can see that audio is at the maximum and uh, in here is also at the maximum so it's i'm recording at the highest volume possible i uh, i don't know maybe i'll try to get the microphone closer to my face do you plan to try xfc not really i don't have any interest in xfc i don't see the point of uh, for me trying it out
I'm back. Sorry. Where was I? What causes the glitch in the chat window? I have no idea. Can you show a video edit project? What do you mean? Video edit project. Uh, the GPU is uh, the Intel integrated something and I don't do manual video editing. It is completely automatic. I just removed, uh, removed the silence from the videos. KDE will never become proprietary, that's for sure. Okay, sorry, I missed this. If KDE becomes proprietary in the future, will it, will it become better or worse and will it become famous? I think that if KDE becomes proprietary, it's going to die within a week because nobody will use it anymore. If you, are, uh, if you want to use a proprietary OS, you're going to use Windows or Macintosh and that's it. Uh, one of the cool things of KDE, thanks to which KDE is actually used by people, is the fact that it's open source. Doesn't make sense to make it proprietary. Tekat's new video shows uh, Hazahi Linux with KDE Desktop. Yes, I've shown the uh, Tekat's video in the previous live. I, uh, I watched it a uh, few minutes ago. Let me see if somebody is writing me on Telegram. Man, Jingwas is dead. They fired everyone. How do you remove silence from videos? Don't do it manually. There is this amazing tool which is called uh, Auto Editor. You find it on GitHub, and uh, it works. It just works, and also provides a lot of options that you can play with. Why the little third-party app made for KDE are often much more ugly than third-party developer GNOME apps? That's something that we are also wondering in KDE chats sometimes. Maybe it's because KDE most of KDE apps are first party. There's less uh, of a concept of a third party KDE app. If you see KDE something, you know it's first party. If you see GNOME something, it might be a third party or a first party. So most of the apps in KDE are first party. Uh, they are uglier. I mean, the newer ones with uh, Kurigami, I think they're pretty. But uh, before Kurigami, uh, KDE didn't uh, quite make sure that the uh, toolkit was only usable for pretty apps. I mean, yes, uh, KDE Plasma would be totally forked uh, if uh, it uh, went to closed source. That's for sure. I mean, even if QT became proprietary, KD was would uh, still live on because we would fork QT, so no big issue there. <coughs> Do you use Kmail? No, I use Gmail. If you are a new user and don't want to use a rolling release, uh, I, I usually suggest Kubuntu, but Fedora is probably good as well. I mean, I've never used it. You should try out Fedora. 
No, I do think that for King Cutie is reasonable. I mean, it would be unpleasant, but reasonable. Uh, the EV can hire some developers to work on it full time. I should try out Fedora. I know, I know. I'll eventually try out Fedora. I promise. I'm just. I. I have just no hurry. I like to do things in a calm way. The Fedora gang is now telling me how Fedora is, uh, <laughs> how awesome. I, I, I'm sure it is, like, totally. Does using Windows app in Linux via Wine make any sense to you? Um, yes. I mean, if you need a Windows app, then use it if it's available. Sometimes you just need to run something that only works on Windows and you need it. You can just do that. Isn't it terrible to be Italian because of pronunciation of do you don't mind? Do you don't mind? What, what what's wrong with uh, what's terrible about being Italian? I didn't understand. Sorry. Is my pronunciation that bad? I'm trying to improve. <laughs> Do you know why Ubuntu choose uh, GNOME? No, actually, I wasn't even using Linux back then. Smorthy is asking, did you see my questions? And the answer is probably no. Let me go back. Smorthy. Ah, a year. What do you think about the future of Linux? Of course, we all have heard really positive stuff from the others, uh, like Linux is the future of gaming, Anthony, Linux touch tips. What do you want Linux to become? So what I want Linux to become is uh, a major player in the open source uh, desktop uh, world. Not an easy task at all. My biggest worry right now for the future of Linux, uh, do you still see me correctly? I'm a bit low. My biggest worry is just about um, ARM computers, because the world is switching to ARM computers after Apple. And uh, I'm not that sure that, I mean, installing Linux might become much harder. And that's, that may be an issue, I think. When KD will be ported to Qt6? It's being ported to Qt6 uh, in a couple of years. We'll have Qt Plasma 6. Less than a couple of years, I think. Who knows? I mean, there's no like re there's no deadline. What will happen to the kernel when Linux Torvald dies? Uh, poor. <laughs> Poor him. No, I, I hope he stays alive, surely. And uh, hopefully, uh, I think that even after such thing, the development would go on because Linux became such a big uh, part of everything, like phones, servers, that it would still be developed. KD would have made much more sense for Ubuntu because of ease of customization. Who knows? Maybe they were, they were not searching for ease of customization. Maybe that was not what interested them. 
you always need to think about what was their priority when looking for a desktop. You need to ask them, not me. Do you think that Valve is making enough meaningful contributions to KDE that we could use outside of SteamOS? I think so. Um, I don't know them by heart, but uh, I do know they made some pretty big uh, contributions. Uh, yeah, um, I can tell you right now what exactly. Keep in mind that if SteamOS has some like custom applets or stuff like that, those applets can be used in other um, in any other distribution as well. It's not like they can be proprietary of SteamOS. A is like sending everything without him. Pretty much nothing is being accepted. Yes, but. That's because you do have Linux. If we don't have Linux anymore, then another system would be found. The same point could be made for PopOS, which is putting huge effort to customize GNOME and to write the entire DE from scratch, but they, they wouldn't like KDE. They don't want KDE. Not because they are some prejudice, but they want their own desktop and I can understand them. And they are not looking for the things that KDE Plasma offers. Yeah, um, Roxas, uh, Freestyle Montages, please uh, send me a um, screenshot or an icon. Uh, send me an email about this because it is my what I worked on, so it might be actually not a bug. But if you send an email with screenshots, it's it's uh, much easier to get back to you. As a he's shipping plasma is a good thing, shows off plasma on arm. Sure, that is totally a good thing. Um, I wonder how much effort will be put for like each arm device. If it, each arm device requires the same effort that Hazai has put to M1 processors, then that's going to be an issue because we are moving towards an um, ARM world. What do you think about the sweet KDE theme? It's very colorful. Um, I, I wouldn't use it myself because it's a bit too col colorful for me, but it looks pretty. I like it. Do you find a use for maths in KDE coding? I find it useful in system management and troubleshooting. There is some math applications in coding. As an example, uh, a lot of color, man color management is done through matrix multiplication. So you need to know that as an example. And uh, you get also a bit of uh, coordinate systems. There is some math you probably don't get like calculus three stuff but still the first year of math is useful KDE is KDE working on system settings menu refactoring we know the release date it is working we are working on system settings refactoring uh, we don't have a deadline whenever it's ready it's ready For uh, Foronix is usually trustworthy. For uh, Foronix is so bad. In 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 most KDE chats, we we hate Foronix because there's so much like 
especially the comment section is so toxic. Why Dolphin does not show the thumbnails of MP4 and MKV files with embedded covers? Well, I don't know, but you can open up a bug request. <laughs> no, sorry, I, I don't work uh, with Dolphin, so no clue. KDE on ARM uh, is a thing. Yeah, I, I've got an ARM uh, computer right here. And uh, yeah, it is. Do you think KDE was a good choice for the Steam Deck? Yes, I think I think so. I think it, it fits uh, SteamOS really nicely. It, it fits what a gamer wants from a computer. So I'm totally for it. I had to use Calculus 2 to fix a crash condition in web app, good hold the L'Hopital. It's actually Calculus 1 for us, the L'Hopital, but uh, yeah, taking derivatives. Just remember that when you're using the L'Hopital, if uh, your end result is undefined, then it doesn't mean that the, the original uh, condition is also undefined. It just means that the method is un uncon doesn't have a conclusion. So, yeah. I, I am just reciting what I remember of the conditions of the, the L'Hopital uh, theorem. Genoa or Samp? I don't actually follow football, sorry. You tried. Is there a KDE Discord? Uh, there is a KDE Telegram, uh, the VDG and stuff like that. You can search for uh, KDE Telegram and there's lots of links. If you do cybersecurity, you probably know enough of coding to contribute to KDE. I'm pretty sure of that. It's just that you just, just need to f uh, decide how. Installing Plasma on the Raspberry Pi, you probably can do that, uh, but uh, I remember uh, searching about that, I'm not sure. You need to check out a bit what the internet says. Can KDE Windows decorations be created using Bitmap uh, or GIMP or will KDE only understand SVGs? You can use beep map somehow like as an example you can just embed a bitmap inside of an svg and that should work uh, probably there's another way but uh, i never did decorations i know a qml maybe using a qml image tag Try these couple of things, uh, embedding the image inside of an SVG and using a QML image uh, tag. Please stop spamming. I saw your question. I saw your question. Stop spamming. Joseph. Joseph, stop. You, you're naughty. Naughty. Do, do you really want to be banned like this? I saw your question. I, I just didn't want to answer it because I don't know, I am not an expert on scaling. I, how would I know if Chrome and Firefox are broken? Like, ah, uh, let me answer something else. I think buttons in KDE are a bit too skeuomorphic while Kerogami apps have a flat design. Uh, buttons should be consistent everywhere. Uh, consistent everywhere. If you notice any significant inconsistency, we're probably working on fixing it. There's a lot of effort right now in making sure that Breeze looks like Breeze anywhere. 
Is there a YouTube channel like you from a GNOME developer? I know of, of one. There's at least one developer who streams his uh, live coding sessions on his channel. Uh, I, right now I don't remember the name, but you should be able to find it if you Google. Will Kwin FT ever become a standard KDE compositor? No, we have Kwin. Kwin FT is not a KDE project. What is the best uh, resource to learn QML? The best resource to learn QML is actually using QML and reading the documentation, in my opinion. You also get a uh, handbook somewhere. There is a QML handbook somewhere. Uh, if you don't find the link, uh, email me and uh, I'll send you the link. Is KDE developer your job? How did you start? Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, nobody currently is paid to be a KDE developer. It's not a job. It's something that most of us do either in our free time or whilst being paid by third-party companies. Right now, nobody is paid by KDE to work on KDE software. So I'm doing this in my free time and uh, my channel is the reason why I can do this. So I've got a Patreon <laughs> and a PayPal. So le let me, if you want me to still contribute, continue um, like this, this is one. If you want me to continue contributing to Kitty, the best way to make sure of that is through helping me out on Patreon or PayPal. So it's paypal.com, people me, Nikolov, and patreon.com, Nikolov. And you can also do a donation within the YouTube um, system. They all get through me. Uh, so if you want me to continue working on this, donations are like the main thing that keeps me around. Otherwise, I would have to find another part time job. Where am I? Where am I? I, I totally need moderators and uh, I'd be super happy to make you a moderator, honestly. I just don't know how. I've never done this. Okay, let, let's try uh, to, I don't know, um, studio, YouTube, and then uh, let's go to the live. There's probably some button somewhere that makes you a moderator, right? Uh, like this. This is the live stream. Like this. Where is, where are you? Uh, moderator. You are now a moderator, I think. Thank you for the donation. Let's go on with the questions. Thank you, Robert. Do you want to try a live coding live stream? Personally, I don't want to do live coding live streams because they are so boring. Like I, this is not exciting already. If I start coding, it's going to get super boring. I'm telling you. So I prefer to do some content that uh, more people will actually want to watch. I sent you an email, thank you. I'm uh, check out if I received it. And uh, I didn't receive it yet, but I guess uh, I will soon. Thank you for uh, for the appreciations. Um, why do you have so much time for YouTube while studying? Kind of, I actually have a very strict uh, study method. Let me, uh, um, time management method. Let me show you some more here. This is my phone, it's upside down. And uh, this is my time management app. And uh, if we go to the calendar, you can see that I actually record everything I do. And uh, I record how much I do of everything. Usually Kitty goes like three to four hours every week. I'm trying to do more. 
Linux channel is two to three hours every week. Every week, of course, is different. And uh, I try to make the best out of uh, the time I have. Which is why I'm not uh, doing many live streams anymore. I simply don't have much time to do them because live streams require a lot of time. And they don't pay much. So thank you for the donations you're doing because I don't receive much money otherwise. And um, videos are a bit better. So now the Linux dude Domenico Hayes now has this moderator button. Nice. Yeah, I also hope that Wayland becomes more uh, stable in the future. Uh, da, 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 da. Good KD workflow videos? I don't know, I don't know of any. If you have a specific idea, try sending me an email with it. I might, you know, try uh, give it a shot. A way to add custom build uh, flags to KDE source build. Uh, I'm not aware of any, but uh, if you build um, something, it's really easy to rebuild it. Like if it really fetch the source, so it's kind of easy to actually build it after you built it the first time with KDE source build manually. Okay. Mod is click the dots on the name in chat. Yes, but uh, for some reason it doesn't work from uh, here, sadly. But now I made a moderator. Ah, I'm happy that uh, your friends are amazed by KD Plasma. Promote KD Plasma to all of your friends. What app for time management is it? It's called... Uh, Focus timer, focus matter, focus matter, I think, on Play Store. Contact uh, is kind of being replaced. Uh, there are um, Kurigami alternatives being built uh, slowly. It will take time. Yeah, key, key organizer being replaced with calendar is an example. Camille, there is some work in trying to do a new uh, Kurigami email client. It's just that the, the developer that was working a lot of um, these things was hired by Nextcloud. And I mean, fair enough, it doesn't have as much time as before. Sadly, that's what happens when we don't hire developers first. I wonder if there are other KDE devs on YouTube. A couple of, there's uh, for sure Clow, Clow, somewhere, there should be Clow, I uh, forgot the name. Klaus, Cloud Calendar. Uh, as well as is some. Okay, is surely somewhere. It does live streams, but um, uh, right now I don't remember the channel. Uh, next time you, I'll have the link for you. Thoughts on living in Italy. Do you like it or are you, are you thinking about moving? No, I do like Italy, though I, I asked for an Erasmus uh, in uh, Sweden. I also like Sweden, but I mean Italy, food, pizza, yeah. Yes, I will try vanilla gnome 42, don't worry. Uh, ta -da -da. I've tried to move on Wayland on Plasma, but it still feels feels unpolished. Uh, the only reason was Wedroid, but time will tell. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of work being put in Wayland, and I think that, I mean, within, for me, it's ready, which is surprising, given that a couple of versions ago, I was like, no, Wayland, I'm not using Wayland. Now I am using Wayland, and I've got no issues. So we are moving there, almost there. Claudio, Cam Claudio Cambra, thank you. And Canva Matt, you are both right. 
I mean, you're the same person. Uh, you're right two times. Claudio Cambra, you've got his channel here. There's, as you can see, some videos. And there's also videos from Canvermet, which you can find here. Lots of, uh, it's, this one is about the wallpapers of Kitty. And uh, also web development, right? There is also uh, some other developer trying to uh, doing live screen live stream, but uh, as far as I know, these two are the most active ones. Yeah, actually, all KD developers are very active in the community of KD users. If you go as an example on Reddit, you will find many developers there. You can always ask us stuff. KD is for people who love Windows UI. GNOME is for people who love modern UI. You're this close to being banned by the moderator, I guess. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, it's not like that. Um, I, I do think that KDE is moving towards a very modern UI. I do think that GNOME has a modern UI, to be clear. I don't think that KDE is for people who love Windows at all, because there are people who might love Windows and not like KDE, but also maybe like KDE and not Windows. It's our own design at the end. The most annoying issue in Plasma Wayland is the color picker. Okay, yeah, the, the color picker up applet, I'm uh, guessing. Makes sense, probably some Wayland Shellingen. Probably reported already, but check out if there's the bug report. If not, make it, just for sure. I think it's there, but still. I should have received the email, yes. Yep. Hello, Luca. Let's see the screenshots. Uh, my internet is very slow, thank you. I mean, um, as soon as it works, I'll get back to you. Windows 11, yeah, I also don't, ag don't agree fully with the design changes they've done. Kinda preferred uh, it before. Thanks, uh, Relingson, for the donation. It's very much appreciated. Especially because, I mean, if I'm able to do this, it's thanks to the donations, because this is, at the end, my free time. And uh, every time I receive, like, a job offer, a part-time job offer, like, teaching uh, to students, I'm like, no. Thanks to the donations, I have time to work on Kitty. Kitty reassembles features of Windows while GNOME is a simpler modern UI. Uh, okay, L let's try to bring something constructi uh, constructive out of it. KDE does resemble Windows more compared to GNOME, that's for sure. Uh, compared to all of the desktops in Linux, KDE is not the most uh, similar to Windows. It's the one that can get most similar to Windows, if you want. But uh, GNOME is surely one of the first furthest design um, compared to it. I think that the point is that both KDE Plasma and GNOME have their own thing, their own design, and their own idea of what a desktop should be. Uh, neither is more modern. Because uh, you can say that the workflow of GNOME is a newer idea that, uh, that is, it came later, but it's not necessarily a better one. And you can always reproduce the GNOME workflow in KDE Plasma as well, obviously. <coughs> Hello. Would it be cool to see channel statistics on how old the people are? Uh, why not? I do have statistics, I love statistics, so let's show statistics. So, 
statistics. Uh, it's here, age. This is uh, my age graph. As you can see, it's very mostly young people. And also this one is interesting. We do have an issue like about female uh, woman engagement in Linux in general. Because I mean, what's this? Thanks Robert again. Do you know, are you fixing the different uh, size panel bug uh, I talked about when switching from Wayland? Okay, so um, that, uh, the, the scaling one, right? Let me bring it up. The issue is that I, I'm totally not uh, the right person to ask about these kind of things. Uh, 32 panel size when using 200% scaling. I really don't know, that's the issue. Uh, check out if there is a bug report. If uh, you don't find it, if you find it, send me an email with the link so I can check it out. If you don't find it, please make one and send me the link anyway. Uh, the issue is that uh, I'm really, as you could see from before me trying to explain what Wayland is, I'm really not an expert in Wayland, but I mean, I can give it a shot. We want to see the general statistics. Uh, I did that. 3.6% is a lot. Oh, is it? Honestly, it seems pretty low considering that 50% is the goal here. Uh, I've also heard of a lot of dual screen uh, issues in KDE, but I never had a dual screen, uh, so I'm, I never could like test those kind of bugs, sadly. Can I say something in Italian? Va bene, va bene, qualcosa in italiano. Non sono in Sicilia, adesso mi viene il dubbio. Almeno una volta dovrò essere siccistato, però forse è giusto una volta quando ero piccolo. Sono stato in Puglia un sacco di volte, sono stato a eh, Piemonte, Lombardia, qua su vicino. Sicilia adesso non mi viene in mente, però voglio andarci con la mia ragazza. Let's get back to English though. I'm studying in Bavaria and we have 40% females, women, and everyone is forced to use Linux. Let's force people to use Linux. <laughs> I mean, in universities, if you study, study IT, you should be using Linux. I mean, at least to get the general idea of it. What was the reason behind removing the 3D cube effect? So there is a measure overall um, in, there has been a measure overall in KD, KWIN effects. The, a lot of them were removed because they had very, very old code that was just painful to deal with. Um, of the three removed effects, the three important ones, two has already been rewritten with a new QML cool way, which is super cool because it really means that one developer went there and just did the whole effects from scratch in a different programming language in just like a month, which is awesome. But uh, people haven't found yet the time to actually do that for the desktop cube. Maybe in the future, but honestly, if you like the person who re rewrote the flip cover and the cover switch once received negativity in a way that probably was the wrong way if you wanted uh, the same developer to then also implement the desktop cube. Breeze dark or light? Light, why? I prefer shadows. Like the issue with breeze dark is that you don't see shadows much. Dark on dark, right? And I think that shadows are a super important element of design. So whenever I can, I always use a light team because it makes it easier to make a good design, in my opinion. 
feel free to disagree, obviously. For text editors, personally, I prefer um, the, the, the blue one, the, the blue one. Come on, I know the name. I always use it, the, the, the blue one, the blue one. Solarize Dark, Solarize Dark. If you think that you will get banned if you publish a link, don't publish it. <laughs> that should be, it should go without saying. <laughs> Hearing you speak Italian is now on my top five what uh, moments ever. I don't know why it's so strange. And you haven't heard me speak Italian poetry. You should totally check out my Italian poetry. If you go to TikTok or let, let me show you actually, I'm on um, Instagram uh, under the name of Nick, uh, maybe Vejero on Instagram. And uh, on a TikTok under the name of um, Nicolas Poetry. Here, yes, allow, allow. And there is just videos of me reciting poetry and the same ones on TikTok, even though login page. Yeah, sadly, YouTube removes a lot of things by default that we are not even allowed to like add an exep ex exception for. Uh, you can just like upload to Imgur and then uh, just publish the code of Imgur or something like that, post image, I don't know. Any info on future will and bug patches? It's a bit vague. Again, I'm not a will and developer. So you should ask a Wayland developer, but um, also you should be slightly more specific. Nikolov is a cool name. Fun fact, I only uh, got this Nikolov. Nikolov is Nikolov, which is my name, and then VE, which is the first two letters of my surname. And I only got this nickname because of Fabricator, which is KD before GitLab. So if I'm called Nikolov, it's thanks to KD. What is the best pizza type and why is it the Mediterranean? Are, are, are there any other pizza types? What do you mean? The, uh, the, there's pizza, like, it's not like uh, pizza types. I mean, you can have dif different ingredients on the pizza and there's no such thi thing as the Mediterranean, Mediterranean ingredients over a pizza, but there's just the pizza like there's not like the american pizza that that's not pizza Kelly changed my name yeah <laughs> when will the redesigned version of discover app store land in Kitty plasma uh uh, so there are some merge requests, uh, I think, I don't remember if they have landed yet. Probably they will land within two months, which means that they should be in Plasma 5.25, which um, releases on, in June. And everything that's missing from that will probably be implemented later on and be in Plasma 5.26 which is uh, three months later, four, four months later after June. Ah, the New York style, pi no, no, that's not pizza. Like you can call it pizza, but it's not pizza. Like the, 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 the mozzarella is under the sauce. No, no, no come what? Well, nah. When I saw that video, I was like, no. That's not pizza. You can call it pizza, but it's not pizza. Uh, 
I think that the overview has blur even though your compositor is extender because it uses the quick blur from QML, which also works regardless of the compositor as far as I know. That's probably the, the cause. Is calzone pizza then? Oh wow, that's a good question. Welcome to K Ask a KD Developer Anything. We're going to talk about calzone. No, it's not pizza. Like We, we can't call it pizza. No, that, that would be unfair to pizza. It, it's, a it's a calzone. You know, it's its own thing. Thank you for that new effect that shows all the desktops and allows us to move apps between desktops. The overview effect. By the way, fun fun fact. The overview effect was implemented by a developer that was from Ukraine and who like disappeared rightfully in the last months and only in the latest few days uh, got back to KD development. So keep in mind that these kind of political things do Im do have an impact on KD like we've got developers in in uh, war countries that's that that, that does impact uh, KD development chicago style pizza though is the chicago style the weird one wait it's the one that has like no yeah the, where do you see pizza? I don't see pizza. Pizza is another thing. You can call it pizza, but it's not pizza. That's it. Has this poetry style a name? Uh, a name? No, it's, it doesn't have quite a name. It's um, very... It has a lot of alliterations, a lot of rhymes. So it's inspired by rap. Doesn't quite have a name. Check out the sound makeup in the visual design group. Why was it removed? Let's check. Should be able to check this out. Da da da. Da da da. Am I a administrator? Yes. Uh, no, there is no no message has been removed from the VDG. Is the Python programming language of any use for KDE development? If yes, then which parts of KDE development use Python? Uh, Python is my favorite programming language and um, uh, it is used somewhere. I had to use Python uh, sometimes. It's very rare because no application is actually done only using Python, but it's useful to have some scripts. As an example, the wallpaper is, um, when you have a new wallpaper, you can't just say, okay, KD, use this new wallpaper and magic. No, you actually have to change something like seven files to all have new, new wallpapers and generate the previews that's done through a script and the script is Python. So it's usually used for scripting. Do you follow Italian freestyle? A bit. And the, the thing about freestyle is that freestyle is usually about people um, there's a lot of this concept that freestyle is people improvising or doing some flows that are not as sophisticated as if it was like a song, a rap song. And I don't know, it, it, there's not much to be inspired from compared to listening to actually albums. And you do see that albums, albums are very thought uh, behind the scenes.
What would be the process of making an app and getting it to be part of the official KDE family? So you can search for KDE um, incubator and uh, you can read the instructions here. Uh, generally speaking, if you want an application to be part of KDE and it uses our technologies like origami and stuff like that, nobody is going to say no as long as it's active, maintained, uh, in theory, from at least a couple of people. Kurigami, yes, Kurigami. KDE is mostly C++ and QML. Mostly C++ and QML. Looking over the screenshots that I've received by email, it looks correct. I think it's intended. The icon sizes in the panel. I may reply to the email later, but Do you program crash recovery? What's that? Is it a programming language? What's your mail? Um, Nicolo at venerandi.com If the panel breaks, then you open a bugger report, obviously, and you restart Plasma either through the terminal by typing Plasma shell uh, dash dash replace or you reboot, I guess. <laughs> Most people don't know that it's possible to seamlessly convert Python code into C with with Ceton with 20x performance boost. Not quite. <laughs> That's not quite how it works. But okay. There are some experiments that I followed to try to do static like compilers uh, from Python to C. Um, it's never quite the same as doing native uh, C code and sometimes just managing uh, the compiler is, the transpiler, I guess, is uh, more complex than just writing the program. In which KD Plasma release will the redesign breeze icons land? Some in 5.25, some in 5.26. They will land in two separate versions. Hopefully, this is hopefully. No, no, it, the code that is automatically generated from Python is absolutely not readable. You're not supposed to read it at all. You, you just read the Python source code and then you mess a lot with, uh, with the typing system, but you know. <coughs> yeah. I want to save my KD Plasma theme so I can retain it every time I should reinstall a new Linux Suite Plasma. <coughs> you should check out Plasma Config Saver. 
If you go through my channel, I've done a video about Plasma Config Saver, explain what it is and how it works, so you can just check that one out. You can also pick up your .config folder, that's true. But I mean, if you want a UI, you can use Plasma Config Saver. It basically does that. I didn't know about Consave though. Is LatteDoc a KDE project? Yes, it is. LatteDoc is part of the KDE. You know what, it's almost time to lunch, so I think I'm just going to end it here. I don't see many new questions, so. What do you think about the new JDK4 at Vita? Yeah, I replied to this before. It hasn't quite touched me, so I don't know. I haven't investigated about this. Is there a complete replacement for K user in Qt5? Oh, that's another specific uh, question that I don't know about. Try asking that in the KD development chat. Is there a way to disable whole history? Not from a centralized place. You can disable like a runner history, which also affects uh, kickoff and uh, the search widget. Those kind of things. Anyway, as I was saying, let me let me go eat. Thank you everyone, everybody for joining in. Thanks for the donations. I'm super happy about this. And hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to do this more often from now on. See you on Monday with a new video, which secret is going to be Gwenview versus Guthum. Guthum.